Breast cancer is one of the more talked about cancers. In fact, it is the second leading cause of cancer death in women. So much research has been done to find causes and treatment, yet there is still many, many misconceptions about it. As we wrap up this year's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we wanted to try to debunk some of the common myths that are out there. And to help us do that is Dr. Joan Mortimer from City of Hope. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, first, let's just jump right in because we, there, there are so many things that people talk about. First of all, many people believe that breast cancer is all about women. Uh, but as an oncologist, you say you're seeing a lot of different things to help us understand that better. And it's not just about women. Yeah, that's true. Approximately, you know, one in 100, one in 200 cases of breast cancer actually occur in men. And that's something that we need to talk about with our spouses, our boyfriends, our sons. Uh, that's really important information out there. That's an important myth. Also, when we go to the doctor, uh, they always ask us about a family history. So we tend to think if we don't have a, ha a family history, if it's not hereditary, we're okay. That's not necessarily true. Yeah, that's not true. Only about 5 to 10% of all breast cancers are actually found to have an hereditary component to them. Now, as time goes on and we find new genes that make it higher, but, but truthfully, at this point, it's only five to 10%. So if you don't have a family history of breast cancer, it does not mean that you can't get breast cancer. Important to know that. Okay, this one I think is very interesting because I think about this all the time. Um, you hear people say antipers antipers you know, deodorant, you know, antiperspirant, however you talk about it, or deodorant, like that can cause cancer if it has, I guess, mercury in it, is that right? Or um, is it mercury? Aluminum. Aluminum, aluminum that's yeah. right. Aluminum in it, and then, you know, people do this all the time, and I'm guilty of it. I'm running around, and I throw my phone, <laughs> and that's, people say, don't do that. This will cause breast cancer. Is that true? Yeah, so... So there's absolutely no evidence that antiperspirants are associated with an increased risk of breast cancer. That myth is perpetuated for decades. I don't know how come we, we can't get rid of it. And also the cell phone uh, use and putting it in your bra is myth. It started with brain tumors years ago that people thought holding your cell phone would cause brain tumors and that doesn't cause that and it doesn't cause breast cancer either. So. It does not, let's put that one on the screen because I think that's really important to say mm -hmm. that I went ahead a little bit, but stuffing it in your so bra, weird. putting it in your, in your pocket, it's not going to cause cancer as far as the research good. shows. It might not be the smartest thing because it gets, you know, it kind of gets hot. <laughs> like you kind of maybe don't want to do it. I, I need to ask you one more thing that I think is really important. Um, a lot of people have not gone to the doctor, have not done their mammogram during COVID then they got really busy after the pandemic because things are more open now. I, I had a scare um, during COVID and I, I didn't miss my mammogram, but I did have a scare and I, I found some precancerous um, tissue that had I had to have um, a lumpectomy and it was very, very scary. Uh, and I didn't even miss my mammogram. Uh, so it can happen like that. What is your message to women out there? Yeah, it really is critical that you do breast exams, and then you get your annual mammogram after the age of 40, or if you have a family history earlier than 40, according to what your doctor's recommendation is. Uh, in the abs in the course of COVID, people have missed their, their regular screenings. And what we're seeing now is a higher incidence of later stage breast cancer. So it really is critical that people resume their normal well women exams. Right. And important to talk about it. So, so many of us don't talk about it, um, and it's okay just to, to talk, you know, we have to talk about it. So thank you for clearing some of those myths up for us. We really appreciate your expertise, Dr. Mortimer. Mm -hmm. uh, and we will talk to you again very soon. It doesn't have to be just in October. All right, City of <laughs> Hope is hosting a virtual event next Sunday. We want to tell you about November 6th to raise money for women's cancers programs at the hospital there. You can register at walkforhope.org. Really useful information.